The following video is going to show you how to add sound into your Flash movies. Adding sound is very simple. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Um, there are a number of ways to add sound. I'm going to show you the easiest way now. And if you want to, you can learn the harder ways by yourself or, or in another one of my videos. All right, first step, you need to have a sound somewhere on your computer. So I already had one that I created called sound.mp3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Flash. I'm going to go to File, Import, Import to Library. Once I do that, I'm going to find a sound, and I'm going to click Open. You look over in your library, and we can see we now have sound.mp3. We can even play it in the library. This is just a sample for fun. See? That's a sample sound. You can even play it from your library. All right. Next step. I need to right click on this button and select properties. In my properties, if it's not fully open, I may need to click this advanced button. All right. You're going to click. Make sure the following are checked. Export for action script, export in frame one, and then you're going to create an identifier. I created one called My Sound One, so identify yours with something similar, like uh, this is my intro sound, or this is my sound for scene one, or whatever it is, and click OK. Make sure you remember what that is. All right, next step, you're going to go into frame one of your movie. Keyframe one of your movie should always be blank with just actions because sometimes you're calling things. So whenever you use sound, your movie is actually going to start on keyframe two as we're doing here. Keyframe one is reserved for actions, just loading things. All right, so let's look at the action we need to type in. On keyframe one, okay, I'm going to type S1 equals new sound, S1 dot attach sound equal or in parentheses, my sound one. So what is happening here? S1 is a made up name. It means nothing. Basically what I'm doing is I'm saying the variable S1, which is just a made up name, is a new sound. This new variable S1 attached to the sound from my library called my sound one, which we just imported and created. So that is how we create our sound. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a movie that when you go to keyframe 2, this sound automatically plays. Very simple. In my keyframe actions, I type S1, which is that variable we just created, dot start. That starts my sound. S1 dot start. And then I have a stop action. The stop action does that so my movie doesn't keep looping over and over again. So let's play our movie. This is just a sample for 513. Learn. You can see, as soon as it went to keyframe 2, the sound started automatically. All right, so I have this black circle in the screen. This is actually a button, because I'm going to show you what, do you what happens when you want to stop the sound, or what happens when a user wants to go to the next keyframe and your sound's still playing. You want it to stop, so you have to be able to stop the sound. On my button, I simply wrote the action on release, s1.stop. So start and stop are how you control the sound of your movie. Now, obviously, you can control the volume and other things, but we're not going to do that for this example. All right, let's play it. Control, test movie. This is just a sound is playing. Push the button, sound stops. And that's it. That's how you create sound in Flash.